Mandy here from createyourfuture.co. So today we have Erica joining us. Hi, Erica. Hi, Amanda. Hi, everybody. Guys, so we've got a really exciting video about how to um, basically how to believe that you already have it. And um, because I think it's really important to believe that your thoughts do create and that, you know, the things are possible because it's going to help with the mental diet, right? And the fight inside of your head. Um, so yeah, we're going to talk about that. One thing I will clarify, um, you don't necessarily need to believe you're going to have to, but you've got to believe that your thoughts create and it's, you know, and that you, you are capable of creating it because if you do doubt yourself, then, you know, then of course it's not going to happen. Right. So just one thing I want to throw out there though, before we dive into Erica's story and then how you can create this is if you do want to ask me, Amanda, a question, then definitely check out the Patreon group. The link is in the description below. Sign up and I answer them on the YouTube lives we do once a month. So yeah, welcome, Erica. <laughs> Thank you. So yeah, uh, so my story is about this relationship that I had years ago, right? And back then I was still living in Mexico. And, you know, my, my boyfriend, my then boyfriend lived in the United States. So, you know, for us to be together, I had to move to the United States. But I don't know if you know, but like for for people in, in Mexico to get a visa, it's not that easy. And you need to have, you know, money in your bank account or, you know, you need to have a house or a job or be going to school, something that will tie you back to that place, right? Well, I didn't have any of that back then, right? My mom was a, was a single mom, I, you know, like we didn't have the money for, you know, back then. So anyways, I applied for the visa and I got denied. And at that moment, I could have said, you know what, this is not going to happen. I need to break up with him. I was like, no, that's my man. We love each other in some house, some way. This is going to work, right? I, I left it to the universe. I believe it's going to happen. It's already done. We're meant to be together, right? I'm supposed to be in the United States living with, her, with him, right? Yeah. So I applied for the visa a second time, again, denied right? Again, I was like, nope, I don't care, right? It's going to happen. Now, it's super important. It's okay to have feelings, right? Like be, I was, I was upset. I was sad, right? And it's okay to feel sad or angry or whatever, but just do not interact with thoughts that are negative. Like, oh, this is never going to happen, right? Like it's the end mm -hmm. of the world. Like, no, I was like, I'm feeling sad, but it's okay. This is going to happen, right? That's my man. We're supposed to be together. So then, you know, you know how the universe moves, it's magic, right? The, the universe will move a thousand people if, if that means that you're going to get what you want, right? So yeah. here comes the universe moving things around. And I had a cousin that worked for a travel agency, a European travel agency, and she got offered two tickets to go to Switzerland for free. And then she had a friend over there that we could stay at his place for free. And then out of everyone that she could have invited because she has brothers and friends, she invited me to go with her. And I was like, eh, you know what? I don't really want to go to Switzerland. Like, I want to be in the United States with my boyfriend, right? But I was like, okay, you know, I'll go. And then my boyfriend told me, why don't you go? They'll see that, you know, you went to another country and maybe, you know, that way you'll get the visa, right? So anyways, I went to Europe. I had the time of my life. I come back. I applied for the visa. Granted right but mm -hmm. you see how like things smoothed around because i never gave up i was like no it's already done like somehow some way it's already done and this is mine and then after that things just happen really quickly and here i am <laughs> yeah you know and, and you know what that's i love that like there's two ways that i create it's either i don't care how it's going to happen it's going to happen or i'm actually incredibly specific with my intentions around things that i'm going to create so the two ways that i would explain it is if for instance you know it's just something that you don't have a lot of resistance to or a lot of baggage or a lot of past history with then i usually go with the look at i don't care how it's going to happen it's going to happen right because and if i'm not a, like if i'm too worried about the moving parts you know what i mean and i'm not going to question i'm just going to trust and go with the flow but if i've got history i've got a lot of baggage i've got a lot of past story then i usually go through and you know and kind of micromanage my intentions in the beginning to start getting the shift to happen because there's a buildup of story but you know both ways are correct like a hundred percent you know and usually you know i'll kind of combine the two you know and i'll watch for any negative thoughts and you know kind of 
kibosh them and say, no, this is going to happen. I don't care how it's going to happen. It's going to happen. I have everything I need now for this to happen. Right. You know, and then if that negative thought comes in, it goes, no, you don't. Yes, you do. You know, <laughs> exactly. no, it's super important. it's not our job to figure out how this is going to happen or when necessarily. Right. You just have to say, no, that's already done. It's mine. I'm yeah. Sorry. You know, we don't have to, we can, I mean, you know, I've created yeah. things very specifically down to a T because I've wanted to, but no, we don't have to. I mean, you know, we, and we can always say that could be better than what we want, or we can specifically get what we want. Right. And the only reason I say that is because I do know, I've seen a lot on forums where people say, well, you know what, just put it out there that you find that person or someone better, but then the argument is, but I want that person. So you can be specific right. and have that person or that thing and in the way that you want it, but you could also throw it out there on a very broad net as well. You can do it both ways, right? Exactly. That's why, you know, it's your reality. You decide what works for you, right? You decide what you want to do. You can create your own techniques, right? Right. It's just, it's your world. Right? Yeah. Well, you know, and exactly. Yeah. So talking about creating techniques, right? One thing that to build belief is you don't need to believe that you're going to have the thing that you have. If you would have told me where I would have been right now in, in like in my business, right? I would not have believed you or the new place I got or anything. I would not have believed you or Andrew or anything, but I was creating these intentions five years ago, but the one thing I did believe was me. I believed that my thoughts created and I just kept intending that I was going to have this great business that was helping people. And I was going to have this great place with this great view. And I just kept intending. I didn't actually even really know what it was going to look like. And then it sort of just molded and took shape. So, you know, you've got to believe in yourself in the law of attraction, but you don't necessarily need to believe in what you're doing, but your statement, you nailed it. You want it to happen. It's like, no, you know what? This is going to happen. It's going to happen now <laughs> because it's meant to be. Right? That, that's, my, that's my man. We're meant to be together. He's not going anywhere, right? <laughs> I'm meant to be over there with him. Somehow, some way, that's it's done. It's mine, right? That's why I tell a lot of people, like, claim what is your, that's my man. That's my yeah. husband. And we're meant to be together. Somehow, some way, it's going to happen, right? That's my man. Yeah. He's pursuing me because he knows I'm wonderful and that, and I always get what I want because I am God of my reality, right? That's a mantra. But claim what is yours and believe it's it's already done. I always get what I want because I am God, and there's no limit to what I can be, do, or have, right? I love what you've created though, and you've created the circumstance working for you. Basically, you got denied. What was it? Twice for the visa, and then you turned around and your boyfriend said. No, you know what? You're going to go to Switzerland and they're going to see that you can get a visa to come here. And you were like, yeah, obviously you accepted that as a belief. You said, yeah, this is going to work. You went to Switzerland and because you did that trip and came back, they believed that you could come and, you know, that you would be okay. So like you used a circumstance to your advantage to make this work the law of assumption because you could have easily been like, no, that's not going to work. And guess what? It wouldn't work. <laughs> Right. Now, I just remember that the first two times that I tried and I got denied, I always got this older guy that was very, like, you know, crabby, like, in a bad mood. The third time, it was a totally different person, super sweet, really nice, and it was, like, immediately, like, yeah, sure. And I was like, oh, my gosh, you're amazing. I made it happen. <laughs> oh, my goodness, totally. So, you know, I use circumstances to your advantage. I'm famous for that as well. You know, it's like, I say, I even say, I make an intention. I'm like, I'm going to go for a walk. And when I come home, it's going to be manifested. Like I do that all the time. <laughs> so famous. I'm like, oh, I'm going to do this. And when I'm done this, that's going to be manifested. Like, okay. So super important circumstances don't matter. A lot of people are in long distance relationships. And you know what? Sometimes when I have clients that are in a situation that is a long distance, I'm like, you know, you can do it. You can get it done. That's irrelevant. And I share my story, right? Maybe they're in like two states apart. Well, I was in two totally different countries with no visa. And I was like, nope, it's not impossible. It's done. Yeah. You know, and, and that's right. You know what? I, I, okay. So a little bit out of my life, I'll share is circumstances don't matter. Um, Andrew, he's, um, he's a lawyer. He's got a law firm in the city that we're living in like now. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I wanted to move to a city like two hours away. And because his law firm was two hours away from where I wanted to move, he didn't want to do it at first. So I never fought him on it. I just kept intending because my family lives two hours away and I really wanted to, to live there. And besides, you get way nicer places. It's just a nicer place. I don't like Vancouver, the city. I just don't. I want to be out in the country. So anyway, so I just kept intending. And guess what? He finally one day suggested we move 
oh, to that city I wanted to move to. Wow. So you know what, it, guys, long distance relationships, you can get them to move to you. You can move to them. I mean, you can have whatever you want. You can intend that they get a new job in your city. Um, you know, the, it's, it's, the possibilities are endless, right? You know, but just believe that you're powerful enough to make it happen, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Believe in yourself. You are the God of your reality. You are the operant power of your life. Maybe. Exactly. Now exactly. want to create every single situation in your life, right? Right. So ways that you could already believe it already, okay, is first of all, start creating that little list of intentions, okay, to go out there and prove that this works to yourself, okay? Whether it be free chicken, free parking, I don't care what, somebody wearing a certain sweater, somebody saying a certain thing, anything, any small little thing that you could do, the bus being on time, you know, the bus being late because you're going to be late, whatever it is, start creating those synchronicities to happen. The second thing is say, I intend to believe that it's already happened. I intend to believe that it's meant to be. Those are really good statements. And um, yeah, and reaffirm that it's done already, you know, reaffirm it's done. This is going to happen, you know, and, and throw it out there that, you know, whenever you think that it's hopeless, you know, it's going to happen. It's happening now. Yeah. My mantra after, after every affirmation, I always ended with, and isn't it wonderful that I am God of my reality and I always get what I want. Uh, things always show up for me. I always <laughs> take all my affirmations with that and it makes me feel really powerful. Yeah, that is so good. Exactly. And I love your famous one. It's happening now. <laughs> yeah, now I want it now. I don't want to wait forever. It's happening now. And, and you know, mm -hmm. you're creating that reality where things just happen to you you know, smooth now, it flows, right? Exactly, exactly. Well, amazing video, how to believe like you already have it, using circumstances to your advantage, like absolutely amazing, great story. Like that's so awesome that, you know, I mean, yes, you can create anything. Everyone as you pushed out, you can get that visa. You can have that person move close to you. There's nothing that you can't create in this reality. If you can think it, you can create it one way or another. So, guys, yeah, start seeing the possibilities. <laughs> Endless possibilities. The universe is your catalog, right? What do you want? Yeah. And, and you know, it, just have to reaffirm, you know, this week I, I created a goal, a very personal goal, and I didn't think I was going to make it, but I, I made it. And I was shocked, you know, and I just kept saying, look at, no, I've done everything I need to do. I'm like, everything's fine. This is going to happen. I'm like, nope, you know what? Nope, everything just the way it is. I've done enough, you know. And I think that's the most important thing, you know, is to, to, to stop creating that you haven't done enough or that you need to do something to get it. Because really, you actually don't, you know. I mean, okay, so let's say, for instance, you want a million subscribers. You do need to create a YouTube channel. But once that stuff's there, you don't, you know what I mean? What else, can, you know, you, you can, you just intend, it'll show up, right? So, you know, you do need to build the structure, you know, for things to funnel through to a point, but, you know, you don't need to make, take a lot of outward action, you know, like, you know, especially to, to create things in your reality. There's nothing wrong with taking outward action. You take action all the time, but, you know, it, um, you know, not to think like, for instance, an example would be, oh, I need to lose five pounds before he wants to be with me. No, I'm perfect the way I am right now. You know, so the, those are the sort of things that I'm, you know, that I'm referring to, right? Exactly. Yeah, because otherwise you're creating a block, right? Well, I have to lose the five pounds to be with that person, but to lose the five pounds is going to take me forever, right? So it's block after block instead of saying, no, I'm perfect the way I am. And he loves to be, you know, with me. my five pounds or 20 pounds, whatever it is. I'm perfect the way I am. And he wants me that way, right? Exactly. Exactly. Absolutely amazing. Thank you, Erica, for being here. You are awesome. Thanks, Amanda. Thanks, everybody. Guys, Erica is a coach here. She is available to help with coaching. She is still having a sale. Check out the link in the description below. And guys, thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.